guys, how's it going? My name is Ollie, and welcome to another episode of Amber Talk. We finally won a game! Finally! Uh, Newport County won, Grimsby nil. Nicky Maynard goal uh, gives us all three points. Our first win since the 8th of December. Um, who, ironically, the team we did beat that day was Grimsby. Um, yeah, beautiful game. Um, all the classic staples in a Newport County game. Red card for Scott Bennett. It is a red card. It's our fourth in four games or fourth in five games. We've had four red cards as of recent. Um, definitely something needs to be addressed in that defensive, uh, not defensive, in the discipline area. But um, no, hopefully that means we can finally see Jack Evans start. But uh, red card for Bennett. Can't see that getting appealed or overturned, so he's out for three games. Um, as mentioned, Nicky Maynard gets us a goal. Um, Dolan kind of shoots it from the edge of the box, takes a bit of a bounce between some um, Oldham, Oldham? Grimsby players. It's because he was playing in a blue kit, I thought it was Oldham. Uh, um, takes a bit of a deflection off some of the Grimsby players, and then Nicky Maynard in a six yard box slots it away. Beautiful. Um, Priestley Far Carson, or however you say his name, I know Charlie Brown was uh, struggling with that one today, but Far Carson, that's what I'm going with. What a player. Um, didn't look out of place at all. He didn't start the game, I think he came on at half time. Um, yeah, he came on for Baker, who also played as well, but Far Carson, um, brilliant throw ins, brilliant uh, in terms of a defensive mindset. Um, definitely knows how to play and he looked c comfortable as anything so a um, lot of promise from him uh, all round team looked good today you know nothing uh, really stand out about the performance but nothing terrible um, all round just a brilliant performance from us and um, just great to see us get this win and hopefully the momentum will now start to snowball um, I'm going to pass over to the county fans to see what they have to say about uh, today's great victory. Uh, I'll read you at the end. Beautiful performance against Grimsby. Uh, Nicky Maynard on the score sheet. That is promising. He might be a prolific striker for us and hopefully he can score more goals and get us back on track. But it's nice to go back to winning ways and hopefully we get promotion next year. And well, let's bring on Southend. Oh my days, Newport won a game. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. Super quick one for me tonight. Uh, shit first half, awesome second half. Simple as that. Um, another weird red card. I think it was a red. Um, went over the ball and, you know, in the ref's handbook, that's uh, a, a red flag and a red card, if you will. Um, but there we go. Uh, Maynard scored on his debut. A couple of the debutants were pretty good today. Uh, DLK is impressing me further. Um, every game he plays, which is awesome. Um, super scrappy uh, game, obviously. Uh, awful pitch. Um, played pretty well. Jeez, that scared me then. Awful pitch. Played pretty poorly. But in the end, the three points is all that really matters. And I think we're fourth now with a game in hand, two games in hand on some people. So if we win our two games in hand, technically we'll be, we'll be first. Uh, as long as results go our way too. So let's not, let's not moan too much. Um, Although we all love moaning, don't we? Let's be honest. Uh, South End away on uh, South End at home on Tuesday. Another very beautiful team. So things are looking up. Be good. Stay safe. Catch you next time. Well, thank God for that. First win since I think it was is it December? Oh, feels good to be uh, taking three points on that one. Um, let's start with the the big issue: discipline. It was a red card, in my opinion. It's a dangerous tackle. Don't know what Bennett was doing. Shame as well, because in my opinion, he was our best player last season, and he seems to have gone off the boil this season. But a tackle like that is just not not needed in that type of situation. Such a shame for us, really under pressure. And I thought, as I was watching it, we're going to lose this, so it's going to be another draw. And and then a bit of luck in the box, and it falls to Maynard on the debut and scores. So you've got to be there to score him. So great positioning from him. I think... Overall, after the man went off, we scored the goal. Great. I thought we were very compact, which was quite good, really well structured. There were a couple of 
scary moment, shall we say. Um, I had two man of the matches. Um, I thought Lange King was very good and Farquharson, uh, or Farquharson, as Charlie would say. So really well played. I thought they both did a great job. And to be honest, I'd probably start them the next game because they were solid together. Big lads as well. Um, but yeah, great win. Fantastic to, to get three points. Puts us into fourth. So with two games in hand, who knows? We're still in this. So well done, boys. And uh, roll on safe end on Tuesday. Come on, account you. We've won a game. That felt amazing. Newport County won, Grimsby Town nil. After eight games without a win, we've finally now ended the rot and we've now gone and picked up a massive three points and we're now back up to fourth. How we needed that. The only thing I will say is that we should have made it 2-0 with Scrimshaw and the red card. That was another stupid challenge that he did not need to make and we need to sort out the discipline in, in the, within the team because it's not good enough. That's four out of five games now, three games in a row. It's debatable whether the ball went out of play or not, but he still didn't need to make that challenge, and now he, and they left us with a huge job on our hands. But you got to salute the players, and you got to salute Flinney because we set up the way we set up was amazing. Just it was perfect. When we went down to ten men, we sat back, we absorbed the pressure, and we hit them on the counter attack, and that's how we got our goal. Uh, Matty Dolan I thought he was brilliant today and it was his shot that bounced around in the box for Nicky Maynard to get his first goal for the club on his debut poacher and that goal could mean that could be huge in terms of what it means with the three points and that that could get us right back on track um, and we know what Nicky Maynard is all about because we've seen what he was like at Bury um, and now I'm feeling much more positive going into South End on on Tuesday at home they're in the they're bottom of the table we need to win that though this will mean nothing today if we don't go and win that we need to win that but I think we will now I've, I'm feeling a lot more confident now that we've ended the rot and I think we, we can go on a bit of a run again now and go get a few good results I thought Mickey Dimitri and David Long King were brilliant I thought uh, to, uh, Nick Townsend as well he was he was outstanding Everything that came in the box, he just caught. He was there with everything. They were not getting past him, no matter what. Everything he just caught. His, he was so good. One of our best players. I thought Gambin and Sheehan looked good together. So I think they'll probably just play... He'll probably play a 3-4-3 three, three against Southend. And it'll just be them two. Because we haven't got another midfielder now. Um, Nicky Maynard as well. You've got to big him up because it's his goal that's won us the game. I'm so happy with that. Hopefully he can go on and push on now and go get some more because if he can do that for the rest of the season you that will only mean good good for us more points yeah i'm buzzing with that win other than the red card and the fact we should have made it 2-0 i got nothing to complain about the way we set up today was all round outstanding to go down to 10 men we did not flop we kept at it and we were determined and you could see at the end of that game that it meant the, it meant every it meant a lot to those players so, I cannot fault them. Every one of them players deserves credit today. Every single one. I'm so happy with the win. And now I'm more confident going into Tuesday against South End. So, we've got to keep it up. That's all I say. Just keep it up. Hope you all stay safe out there. And as always, up the county. Well, thank God that's over. At last, we managed to win a game of football. And, uh,. About time too. Um, it seems over the last few weeks that we seem to have forgotten how to uh, get over the line and win a game of football. Um, we did our best to muck it up again today, really, I think, to be honest with you. Um, red card, every day of the week for me. Uh, you don't go uh, into a challenge like that off your feet. Um, I've all players to do it. Scott Bennett was so consistent, I don't know how. You know, you don't expect that from Scott, but it was a red card. We made it so difficult for ourselves again. And also, again, today, I didn't think we played very well. Um, I think the pitch, obviously, we're not there. We can't see it um, like the players can see it. Uh, but it looks, to me, as an old guy, I can remember the 80s and the, and the 70s. God, he rose they played football on that years ago. And I, you can't tell me that Man City or Liverpool wouldn't play football on it as well. Um, I think sometimes it's... Um, 
it's a bit of an excuse to hide behind sometimes. I just don't think we um I just don't think we ran off the ball well enough uh, to make short, sharp, crisp passing easy. Um, and I think if we moved better off the ball, made ourselves available more today, we'd have passed better and, and we'd have looked better. Uh, but the confidence is obviously low at the moment. Um, you can see that, clearly see that. I mean, for instance, when Nick Townsend's got the ball early on in the season, there'd have been two or three players looking for that first for that pass out. They're not there at the moment. Um, so we got the uh, confidence issues. But a win is a win, and nothing brings confidence like a win. Uh, an opportunity to get a double of a tally, if you like, then, and win again on 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 Tuesday against South End. That's got to be um, we got to read target three points, and you just never know. A couple of wins, two on a bounce, and the confidence comes back, and we'll be a different team. So fingers crossed on the Tuesday, and uh, maybe we get, once we get the confidence back, I think we'll be a lot lot better. Uh, but um, anyway. On the Tuesday, and as ever, stay safe and up the county. So, guys, that is it uh, for this week's episode of Amber Talk. Massive thank you to everyone who has submitted videos. As always, if you do want to um, submit the videos to the next Amber Talk, go over to the Amber Army on Facebook and Twitter. They are the places you need to be going to submit videos. Um, I hope you like the kind of or new format we've gone for with um, trying to get short form videos um we do look at the kind of analytics and whatnot and the what times and what we are trying to do is make kind of maybe shorter videos um which might get people more inclined to um submit their videos if there is kind of any reason why you've wanted to submit an amber talk video and you've maybe held off or if there's anything that puts you off go in the comments and tell us why you maybe don't want to leave a video and hopefully we can incorporate that into future episodes because we do want this to be a very fan oriented um series but there uh, massive thank you to everyone who has submitted um in terms of the table i believe we are fourth um there was a handful of games called off COVID or um, waterlogged pit. So, you know, the games in hand are all over the place. But I think we are fourth. I think we're only like a point off Tramia who are in third. But it is what it is. Next game now, Tuesday night. I believe we are home to South End. I'm not with you on that. I know we play South End on Tuesday night. Um, they are 24th, I believe. So, Hopefully we can go pick up a victory there. But um, yeah, South End Tuesday night. If you have enjoyed this video, go down, drop a like. Um, as I mentioned, leave a comment. What did you think about the performance? And is there any reason why you don't uh, participate with Amber Talk? And if so, maybe we can try and incorporate um, a fix into that for future episodes. But there, yeah, go leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel because every subscription helps. It's free, helps us out, and um, so this is all really enjoying the videos. But yeah, as always, I've been on it up the county. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like, make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.